This is a TF Source video review for Takara Tomy 2010 Creator Primus. Cybertron. The cybernetic, technological world from which all Transformers originated. Cybertron has been a notable locale in almost all Transformers fiction, and more importantly, has recently appeared as an important character in the mythos as well. Character, you say? Well, if you are like some Fairweather Transformers fans, you may have missed the original Marvel comic series, Dreamwave's War Within Comics, or the end of the Unicron trilogy known as Cybertron or Galaxy Force. Over time, the Transformers mythos has evolved to include Unicron as a dark god representing evil and the yin to this yang as the light god Primus who resides within or even sometimes is Cybertron itself. Simply put, Primus is the god of Transformers and has been re-released in an exclusive color scheme for Takara Tomy's 2010 line. Meant to act as Universal Dominator Unicron's foil, 2010 creator Primus is an all-new upgrade to the original Supreme Class figure that you might have missed years ago. Throw your scale expectations out the window and douse yourself with Holy Energon as we take a 2010 crash course in Transformers Religious Studies. If you had the means to pick up the ultra-cool G1-esque Universal Dominator Unicron, then you may have noticed a slice of blue on the front of the box. This angled snippet of illustration is a stray piece of the front of Creator Primus' box art, which also includes a corresponding sliver of Unicron's box art. This might be one of the most creative uses of Transformers packaging we've seen to date, and reinforces that these large planetformers belong together as some sort of pseudo gift set. After indulging in the incredibly rendered flat blue illustration on the front and sides of the box, check out the somewhat misleading product photos on the back. The photos shown here border on misleading due to the shimmery metallic silver paint job that differs quite a bit from the dull gray of the finished product. Whether this discrepancy is due to a last minute production change or highly stylized photography is unknown. Such wide gaps between the promoted and final product is very unlike to Karatomi, but more on that later. Indicated here is a triple changing planet former with gimmicks galore. Heed the call of this creator and release him from his cardboard shrine. Like 2010 Unicron, there is a jungle of twist ties, so use your handy fingernail clipping machete to blaze a trail. Free your TF deity and his included accessories to view the black and white fold out instructions. Creator Primus comes with his own unique cyber key as well to further entice the rare cyber key collectors out there, of which there are some. 2010 Creator Primus is a regal sight. The gleaming blue against a dull dark gray is an immediately captivating color scheme. The size of the figure matched with its radiating full body crown of planetary towers gives this figure a one of a kind look amongst its transformer brethren. Although some of the limbs are hindered by the transformation or spherical nature of the figure, Primus can attain just as many acrobatic poses as some of his smaller deluxe compatriots. Primus has a high number of articulation points including his waist, head, and multiple appendage joints. Just like Unicron, this figure has gimmicks galore. There are dual shoulder cannons featuring spring-loaded projectiles, a battery-operated light-up Omega key insert, cyber key activated arm cannons, and a scale-defying robotic arm housed in each leg. When viewed from behind, it is quite obvious that this figure is meant to become a planet due to the spherical kibble. Sprinkled across the crust of Cybertron are gold-painted structures intended to represent major locations on the planet, but good luck trying to specifically identify any of those cities. Primus is not quite as nimble as his other half, Unicron, but he can still manage some good poses. The hands of Primus are significant to many customizers for their individual finger articulation and size. Many a custom Gestalt figure have received divine intervention from the very hands of their creator. Transformation of Primus is not incredibly complex, but it does feature some unique requirements. The included Omega Lock is required to spin the leg components. It is also meant to unlock the chest and back sliding components. These areas can be forced without the aid of the planet key, but it is advised to use the lock in order to avoid breaking any internal mechanisms. The need for a supplemental part during transformation dates back to the Generation 1 Power Masters, although Primus is not necessarily considered to be one of those. 
Planet mode is where this redeco really begins to shine. The fully spherical presentation has been executed quite well, and with the aid of four protruding legs that help the planet stand upright, the surface of the planet is quite smooth, and the only incredibly noticeable robot kibble remains the exposed areas around the hands. The bright blue plastic is a bit of an eyesore compared to the gunmetal finish of the whole planet. Primus's planet mode sports minicon pegs and a connection point for the Omega Lock on the North Pole. This is definitely the best representation of Cybertron we've gotten to date, and it is evident that the planet mode is the mode this figure was repainted for. There is an additional battle station mode that feels like an extreme stretch, but it is advertised on the back of the box and in the instructions. This mode seems reminiscent of Fortress Maximus' battle station mode and is essentially the figure laid on its face in mid-transformation. There is also an incredibly top-heavy battle mode that can be created by activating the Omega Lock slide while in planet mode. The general size of Cybertron is often debated, but an interesting scale chart from the original Transformers animated film recently surfaced at Auto Assembly 2010. The size chart gave a scale model for all the planets featured in the film. All of these planets were dwarfed by the size of Earth, and Unicron was considerably smaller than Cybertron itself mostly due to plot devices. Most of this has been retconned and Cybertron is roughly the same size as Unicron now, meaning Unicron wouldn't be able to devour Cybertron on its own. This also means that Unicron and Primus must transform to robot mode to duel and the classic scene of Unicron triumphantly posed atop a larger Cybertron is no longer possible. As a counterpart to the bright orange repaint of Unicron, the complementary blue of Creator Primus reinforces the opposition between these two forces of nature. Primus comes across as soothing and zen-like, whereas Unicron is the god of chaos and destruction. Luckily for us, good always seems to thwart evil in Transformer land. When compared to the original Cybertron Primus, there are some striking differences. Although no molding has been changed, the color choices of plastic and paint make each version unmistakably their own bot. The block even coloring of Creator Primus may be more pleasing to some collectors compared to the somewhat spotty, haphazard coloration of its predecessor. These differences in color scheme are amplified in planet mode, where the solid coloration of Creator Primus is much more passable as an actual planet Cybertron than the original. So is it time to make an offering to the god of all Transformers? Many fans may be avoiding this figure because they already have Cybertron Primus and don't feel a straight repaint gives as much bang for their buck like the remolded Unicron head did. However, the planet mode for Creator Primus is a definite improvement over the original and can fill a gaping void in your Transformers prop department. If you detest the idea of Cybertron having the power to transform at all, then you may want to avoid this figure. But also, you may find it difficult to resist giving Unicron some much-needed competition in your display case. If Primus continues to play a role in future Transformers fiction, this could become a cornerstone in many collections. For now, Primus will continue to preach to the converted and keep the balance of his plastic universe in check.